Hello guys and welcome back to another one of my videos. We are going to play with resin again today in the dungeon studio. And uh, I have prepared here uh, two charcoal black, a little bit of gray mixing uh, black color and white color together. Um, a little bit of clear with, uh, with big chunks of silver glitter in it. And there's also a little bit of uh, purple in this uh, in this dirty bucket here. Okay, I already mixed up. I just randomly threw the colors in the bucket. I also put some uh, resin on the table to grease it up. Okay, to create the grease coat because uh, that that will cut out the the surface tension of the epoxy and it will let it slide more easily on the table and go where it wants to go and uh, thus creating more organic forms okay so here is the dirty pour bucket okay i'm gonna take these sticks that I use to mix the individual colors with and I'm gonna move a little bit of resin that I have on the table like I said I just want to smear it around a little bit so that the epoxy can slip and slide as it wishes okay as it wants to and bring us the beautiful effects that we want it to bring us okay the board has been painted with a paint blue paint paint and primer spray okay so the board has been smeared most of the way Most of the dry spots are have been taken out. There we go. Now that the whole board is nice and wet. Okay. Now we can start putting out the resin. This is gonna be really really easy, like I said. Just get your colors, dump them in a bucket one after the other don't mix the bucket because you want them to stay kind of separate and then randomly start pouring out on the table okay and i want it to come one like this, like that. Okay. I'm gonna take one of the sticks again and wipe the bucket onto the table. Everything that is remaining in there. Meanwhile, make sure it's kind of moving. So yeah the glitter bunched up in one spot in one place everything went to the bottom i should have kept that okay so it's on the table and one thing i don't understand is why did the white disappear completely hmm That is weird. Okay, the epoxy will self-level itself. But I'm going to help it. I have 500 milliliters of epoxy on the table. So I'm going to take the hair dryer and I'm going to move it around just a smidge, just to help it out.
Okay, so I tried to blow it away from the edge. I don't know why I'm getting a slant again this way because it was leveled out already. And wherever I see these dry spots, I just touch them a little bit and then the resin will do the rest. It will come in and like I said, it self levels. Okay, just help it in there. Like that, like that. Okay. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a tilt, help it flow that way and make it flow easier. I'm gonna take the torch. I'm gonna pop some bubbles. And because I only heat it up the middle, it will make it flow easier in the middle. <clears throat> okay, let's go this way. I have an idea. I'm just going to take out the triangles on this side that and ta-da now it's gonna move I like to move it move it okay it's now coming in and just like I said there's a lot of spots with surface tension and I'm taking out that tension okay now I want it to come this way I'm gonna take out this one as well How bizarre, how bizarre. Would you look at this vein that formed all by itself? I didn't do anything to it, it just popped up. As the resin moves and it does its thing. Okay, we have the little glitter here. Let's try to make it look like it's some kind of a vein. Like that. I'm gonna give it one more torch. Pop those bubbles. Although I wanted a little bit more white action, it still turned out really nice. And the purple accent with the blue background, it just does what it needs to do and turns this piece into a really nice black marble. 
It's marvelous, isn't it? Oh yeah, that way. That way is good. Okay. I'm going to wait a little bit longer for it to start to set up. I'm going to wait about 20 minutes. And when it starts to gel up really well, I'm going to take the gold spray paint, give it a little bit of a fog, and then fracture it. I'm just going to do a vein like, like this. Whoosh. Trying to get more epoxy on this bald spot here. So. I'm just heating up random spots on the resin because I don't want it all to move. And then those parts will start will start flowing faster than the rest of the of the table. Ooh, yeah, that, that purple really did something. That purple and the uh, slightly different shades of black, it's doing something really nice that I like right now. Come on down. Popping bubbles, we're getting things moving here. So even though I had substantial amounts of, of white in that bucket, it just completely dissolved and went bye-bye. Why? I have no idea. Like I said before, probably because they are all paste-based paints. They just uh, dissolved into each other because they didn't have different um, surface tensions. So it was easier for them to just uh, go together. I'm thinking about, no, it has enough purple. I could take a little bit of purple and just, ooh, but no, I'm not gonna do that. Hmm. Let me put the lid on this before I spill it. There it is. Okay, I have an idea. Let me see if I find them. Let's 
So, remember these guys from Project Brutus? Let's let's put them to work. Let's see what we have here. Uh, this one is red and purple, in line with what we are trying to do. What we have on the board. Just. The red. Okay, so what I'm doing is that I'm getting the little straw wet and then I make it spritz around little flakes. What's this? This is the green. I don't want to put green in there. The red is really, really in there, but the blue, yeah, the blue I like. Too bad I don't have a lot of it, huh? Whoops, I got a little bit of blue on the Sakura as well. I'm gonna leave it. Let's see what it does. So we take our little stick and I don't know, do I want to go with a stick or with a little bit of alcohol. Just plain clear alcohol. Oh, this looks like a huge fireball with a little bit of a tail. I like what it did there. Oh yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it like that because it's doing something really, really cool on this side. You don't see it. It seems just a gray, black, a little bit of purple marble. And then when you move in, all of a sudden just lights up with the red metallic and just a little bit of blue here and there. Ooh, I like what it does there.
it's a little too much going on here. Okay, so yeah, this could be a finish all on its own. It's a black metallic with blue and red shimmers. Let me, let me put the blow dryer on that. Just a second too. Okay, so I, I, I popped those round circles that I didn't like because they look like man-made. And I'm getting circles on my little sakura here as well. And this one's gelling up. Yep, we are done. We have a little bit of bumps here, but if I cover it or once I cover it with a with a clear coat, the little bumps from the glitter they will go away. They will serve just to give it a little bit of interest, some inclusions in there. Now let me do a little flyover with the foam so that you guys can see what I've done here. Phone off. So here we are, look at that, you know, from here, it's nice and chill, a little bit of sparkles, and then you come this way and the light hits it and it just lights up, look at those colors. Let me know guys, did you like it more before or after I put the, the shimmers in there? Did you like the tame little black gray marble or do you like the, the new light up, lit up shimmering plate that came out? Look at that. Isn't that awesome? That is just beautiful. And I said I'm going to put some gold and fracture it, but I don't think I want to. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm going to let it do its thing. And let me know in the comments below, would you would you put diamond dust in the clear coat that is going to come on top of it or would you leave it like that okay if you put diamond dust you get the insane black galaxy that i did last time okay if you don't put diamond dust then it's just this look at those shimmers look at it come alive very tame black marble just shimmering here and there and then you turn around and BAM and it lights up don't you love it this is so awesome
let me know in the comments below how much a stone like this would cost to, to buy the actual stone that looks like this. Okay, and here is the Sakura that I did, that you saw me do last week. And we had some, <laughs> some pollution with the, with the glitter coming in, with the shimmer here and there, which is okay, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Look at the, look at the, what the red does. Look at it spread around. Okay. Would you use the, the Sakura as a, as a table? As a desktop? Tabletop? Something like that? Hmm? Would you do something like this? I like it. And guys, I cannot draw for to save my life, you know. <laughs> this is all the epoxy, what it's doing. I just I just went crisscross applesauce and this is what it came out. And just put some dots with the with the spray paint. And look at this. Oof. Again, just randomly spraying it and then fracture it a little bit here and there, and then oof, this is what it came out. Okay, so this is it for now. Uh, remember all for, to like, share, and subscribe to keep the internet alive and come see me on the next one. Thanks and bye-bye.